good morning students and welcome back to the class today i'll start with a new chapter of geography that is weather and climate this chapter is very important for you to understand in the lower classes because in the higher classes it becomes more and more difficult and more and more complex so it is a very basic chapter the concept should be very clear so that you can have a better understanding for your future classes okay so today we will start with the chapter that is weather and climate you people have all experience about weather and climate on the daily basis you have seen that the weather changes day by day like when you uh, wake up in the morning it is quite not so hot it is very were cool and you do not feel so hot in the morning so the weather in the morning is different but when you see that the sun has risen and the sun has uh, become more uh, become more hotter and hotter during the day so what happened the weather became so hot and during the day time it is much hotter rather than in the morning and when you see that this after the morning there is evening in the evening time you experience as the sun goes down what happened the intensity of the heat of the sun is also gone so what happened the weather becomes more cooler so what is weather you will ask ma'am what is weather so i'll explain you what is weather okay weather is defined as a condition of atmosphere at a given place but at a given time please in note children it is very important that weather is defined as a condition of the atmosphere at the given place it is fine but at the given time also like in the morning it is different in the noon it is different in the evening it is different in the night it is different so at a particular time weather keeps on changing okay understood the concept what is weather a weather condition a climatic condition which or we can say a atmospheric condition at a given place but at a given time time is more important understood everybody so a weather is an atmospheric condition at a given place but at a given time also okay it includes it is different in sunrise and in sunset the temperature or maximum it is there when the sun goes up in the noon when there is the noon time the temperature is hot why because the sun is uh, you can say directly overhead and the sun rays are falling directly on us that is why at the noon time it is much more hotter okay <coughs> the difference between the maximum and the minimum temperature there is a difference when there is a maximum temperature in the noon and the minimum temperature at the night so there is a difference between these two so this take we take an average of a temperature so the air pressure is also there humidity is also there so i'll explain one by one at when we proceed further with the chapter weather is a temporary state very important children please note that that weather is a temporary like in the morning it is different in the noon it is different in the morn, uh, evening it is different in the night it is different so there is a it is a temporary state of atmospheric condition it okay it changes between few hours also and few days also okay wind sun rays temperature humidity rainfall and at a particular place also keeps on changing it also keeps on changing so this is a weather weather keeps on changing for every time now we come to climate okay what how we say what is climate okay now the question comes what is climate a climate may be defined as an average weather condition of a place on an given area average 
average we take an average of a climatic condition at a given area okay so climate does not change for about 30 to 40 years suppose a same type of climate which remains at a particular place for 30 to 40 years we take it as a climate of that area okay it does not change that repetition of the same atmospheric condition will be there at one year at two year it will remain for about 30 to 40 years that we take the climate of a particular place okay it may be hot it may be cool it may be dry it may be wet so it depends on the particular area okay now next is what are the important factors which affect the climate suppose we have take a particular climate so what are the important factors which affects the climate of a particular place so first important point is the climate of a place can be affected mainly by distance from the equator suppose yesterday i have told you about the various uh, parallels, latitudes, longitude, etc. Uh, I have already discussed with you. So you know what is a equator. Equator is zero degree, and on the zero degree, the sun rays are directly. So the sun rays falls directly at the zero degree equator. So can you think that when the sun rays are direct on the zero degree latitude, this area which is nearby the equator as well as on the equator will be hot understood understood the concept so the places which is on the equator or near the equator obviously will be much hotter because the sun rays falls directly on the equator so the places which is on the equator or which is near the equator will have a more hotter climate rather than those places which are far away from the equator. So the place will be hot if it is located near the equator. Obviously, the, those places who are located near the equator will be hot. Generally, places which is far from the equators like the poles, those places which are far from the equators, they are colder. Why? Because the sun rays are slight, uh, slanting over there, they are not reaching to uh, the, you can say, the poles. So the sun rays are slight, uh, slanted, slight, uh, slanted over there and they are not reaching to the poles, obviously. Then what happened? Those places have a cold climate. As the sun rays are vertical at the equator, they have shorter distance. So shorter distance have more intensity of heat and those polar regions which are very far away from the equator, they are more and more colder rather than on the equator. Okay, so the polar regions, the sun rays are slanting In the polar regions, the sun rays are slanting. It covers a longer distance and they are spread over a large area. So, because on the equator, there is shorter distance because the sun rays are directly falling on the equator. So, they have much more hotter climate and those places which are far from the equator, they have the slanting sun rays. So, they are colder as compared to the places which are near to the equator. So, first point is very clear that is distance from the equator. Understood? A climate of a place, first factor is distance from the equator. The next important is latitude, altitude. So, altitude, latitude we have already done. Now, altitude. What is altitude? Altitude means height. What is altitude? Altitude means height. So, when you, uh, you might have all visited, uh, visited the hill station and all. Okay. So, uh, when you go to the hill station, what do you experience? The experience is that you see it is much more colder. Why you feel cold in the hill station? Because you go much, much above the sea level. You go much in the, at the height. That is why it is much more colder rather than the places which are located in the plains. Okay. So hill station have cold climate due to height above the sea level which is called as altitude. So height 
is also called as altitude. As you go from the plain area to much heighted area, you experience much more colder. That is why the people prefer to go to the hill station in the summers because when you go up in the, uh, at, you can say, in height, what will happen? It will become much and much more cooler. Okay. The temperature decreases with increase in height. Temperature will go down. It will become more colder when you go near the, or you can say, when you increase the height. Two places which is situated on the same latitude. They have different temperature. They are located on the same latitude. Suppose there is one place and another place which are situated on the same latitude. But one place is situated on the height and one place is not situated on the height. They are on plain. So which area has much cold temperature? Obviously those places which are located on height. So, Dehradun Valley and Masuri Hills. Okay, they are, they are not so far from me. Dehradun and Masuri is only one and a half hour distance. So, both are situated on the same latitude. They are located on the same uh, place or you can say uh, same area. But Masuri Hills are much, uh, much colder. Why Masuri Hills are more, much more colder? Because it is situated on a particular height. Understood? So height, as you have more height, you will experience much more colder climate. Okay? So, lay is the cold because it is located on the high altitude. Okay? So, lay is situated on a very high altitude. That is why we experience much more colder areas. Okay? So, I will share the screen. Okay, now to then this is I'll discuss about the distance from the sea. Okay, what is distance from the sea? So first we will discuss about uh, land breeze and then we will discuss about sea breeze. So first I will tell you about land breeze. What happened now during the night? What happened during the night? Can you see the night in the uh, particular? Okay. Huh. So what happened? The land breeze. So I'll start with what is a land breeze. What will happen at the night? The land cools down much more quickly than the sea. What happened during the night? The night there is the, the, the sun rays is not there. So, what happened? The land cools down. What happened? The land cools down faster. And the water is still warm. Because of the sun, the land cools down much faster as compared to the sea. Okay? So, what happened? This air above the sea is warmer because the sea is hot. Still warm. Not hot, but still warm. What will happen? At, uh, this warm air, which is lighter, it rises up. Can you see the bright red um, arrows which are going up? So, this red, red arrow is showing the warm air. And you have seen that this um, warm air is lighter, so it rises up. Okay? <coughs> so, it is rising up. So, when it is rising up, the cool air from the land, okay, the cool air from the land take place and moves towards the sea. So what happened? The air above the sea is warmer and rises up. So what will happen? The cool air from the land takes its place. So this blue warm air, so what happened? This, the land get heated up during the day. So what will happen? It remains hot. The sea is also heated up during the day. So, sea is also warm. But land gets cool faster. What will happen? The land gets cool faster. So, when the land gets cool faster rather than the sea. Rather than the sea. So, what will happen? The sea is still warmer. 
what was happening the warm uh, air started rising up from the sea okay they are started rising up from the sea so what will happen the cool air from the land takes up the space and it cools make the place uh, remain much pleasant rather than became much you can say weather too hot not too cold okay then i'll show this so what happened this is sea breeze so what happened this is sea breeze what this happened sea breeze happened during the day now what happened during the day so the places which is situated near the sea they have not too hot they are not too hot and they are not too cold why the reason is why why the places near the sea do not have not too much cold and not too much hot they have moderate temperature they have mild temperature why they have the mild temperature they have mild temperature because what will happen they have been equal uh, equivalent climate climate because the land and sea breezes during the day what will happen the sun heats what will happen the sun is there the sun heats both land and the sun heats both water what is going on the sun rays are falling on the land and the sun rays are falling on the sea also at the same time what will happen that both the land absorb more heat and then water this land becomes much more hot rather than the water so you can take an experiment also you can on the gas stove uh, you can put a stone and you can take a pan and put a water on it so what will happen after 5 minutes uh, heat both the things together so what will happen the water will no, became not so hot but the stone which you have put on the stove it becomes much hotter as compared to water which is started which was there which was there on the in the pan why what is going on water takes a longer time to heat up rather than a stone heat faster rather um, heat faster rather than the water so the same phenomena is going on here also what is the same phenomena this land is there and water is there so the sun is rising over there so what will happen the sun rays are falling on the land also the sun rays are falling on the sea also so but the land get heated faster land get uh, is getting heated much faster rather than the sea because the land is getting heated faster what happened the air becomes light and it started rising up air became light and it started rising up so what will happen the cool air is there above the sea because the sea water is not so warm so what will happen the cool air take place the warm air space so it cools down the land okay because this cool air is there and this moves air on the land so it cools down the land so this happens during the day now what happens during the night so during the night opposite happens what are opposite uh, opposite thing, things which is taking place in the uh, uh, at the night is what happened the sun has gone down so what is happening the water takes the water takes more time to cool down and the land takes much faster to cool down okay so there is still warm cut uh, air above the sea so what happened this warm air is there so warm air is started rising this warm air started rising what happened the cool land the the air on the land take place the uh, the take place of the warm air which is started rising it decreases the or you can say it decreases the temperature so this is called as the land breeze and the sea breeze so this is called as the land breeze and the sea breeze so this is about what are the important factors which affects the temp uh, you can say a climate of a place so this is the important factor which affects this is the sea breeze so this is a sea breeze and what is a sea breeze i have already explained you the places which are situated near the sea are not so hot and not so cold 
what is the difference or why there is the place which is in, uh, situated near the sea are not so hot and not so cold due to sea breeze and land breeze okay this i have already explained you what is a sea breeze and what is a land breeze i quickly go through once again what are the important factors which affects the climate of a place firstly distance from the equator suppose the equator the places which are situated near the equator are much more hotter as compared to the places which are far from the equator because the sun rays are falling directly on the equator and the sun rays became slanting when because uh, the poles are very far from the equator next is altitude or height suppose there is are two places and they are situated on different height at the place which is situated lower at lower height have much more hot climate and the place which is situated on much height have much more or you can say which have less climate or you can say they are much colder okay those places which are situated on the height are much colder as you people have experienced about the hill stations as you go in the hill stations as you go to the height the temperature decreases okay this is the next important altitude now distance from the sea so distance of the sea means those places which are near the sea they have mild temperature not so hot and not so cold and those places which are situated far from the equator they are either too hot like delhi and bombay i'll tell you two places so two places means the delhi is far from the sea and bombay is near to the sea but bombay people do not wear sweaters bombay people do not have much more hot climate as delhi has delhi is very very cold during the winters and very very hot during the summers but why this happen distance from the sea because bombay is situated near the sea and delhi is situated far from the sea so this is about the sea breeze and this is about the land breeze also this is sea breeze and this is land breeze in the sea breeze during the day sun rises and heats up the land and heats up the water but land gets heated faster so warm air started rising so what happened the cool air from the sea take place and cools down the land but what happened during the night the night it reverse happened the land cools faster and water takes longer time to cool so what happened the warm air on the sea rises up and the cool air from the land goes and takes the place so it moderates the temperature of that place so children this is all about this class tomorrow we will discuss further in this chapter and i want everybody to see it understand it and learn it okay and children once again i am reminding you that you people please give your attendance as seeing the videos because these attendance will be written down and taken by the teachers concerned so everybody please write down a name class and section for the attendance also okay children bye for now take care